Last problem. Two heating units X and Y are connected across a 100 volt supply. Unit Y ta takes twice as much as power as unit X. T total power supplied by the source is 2,280 watts. Determine the total power shown by the heating units if they are connected in series across the same source. Again, this is a problem on parallel and tapos ko connect natin siya sa series. So it's better to draw the figure first. So yung una, drawing natin that they are connected in, two heating units are connected across a 100 volt supply, X and Y. Okay. okay. So to heating units, let's say this is R sub X, this is R sub Y. Ang um, source natin is V sub S, which is one zero zero volts. Okay. Up uh, unit Y takes twice. As much power as unit x so p of y is equal to 2p of x so this is a, a equation so let's say equation one next total power supplied by the source is 2280 so therefore px plus py is 2280 watts yeah this is equation b so meron na tayong two equations okay two equations to unknown so we can get each power rating no when they are connected in parallel so, pwede, ko muna to. so this is a and this is b okay substitute a substitute a to b okay so p of x plus py to p of x so equals 2000 So ito yung pinalitan natin. Yung 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 PY pinalitan natin siya now to P of X. 8 watts. So this is 3 P of X is equal to 2280. So P of X is equal to 760 watts. Therefore, si P of Y is 2 of P of X. 760 watts. So P sub Y is 1520 watts. So, kaya yan. Magagamit natin ito. Ayan. At saka ito. Ayan. Okay, next. Kailangan natin malaman yung... Kasi i-coconnect natin sila sa series. When they are connected in series, so dito na lang natin i-drawing. Okay. Okay. So, this is R sub X. This is R sub Y. Positive, negative. P sub S. Okay, positive, negative. P sub S is 100 volts. Determine the total power. So, all required is V, a uh, total power. P sub T. P sub T, the total power drawn by the heating units if they are connected across the same source. So, we can get the total power, okay, using um, V sub S and yung mga resistances nila by equation na uh, V sub S squared, okay, over the R total. Okay, R total is R X plus R Y. Ito yung working equation niya natin. Pero bago yun, kailangan natin makuha yung R X and R Y. Okay, by means of this one. Okay, so we know that P is equal to V squared over R, right? So to get the resistance of a given uh, load, given yung power and voltage across it, so that is V squared over P. So ito yung equation natin, working equation natin. Given by yung Meron ba tayong rating, power rating ng mga resistance X, U, and Y natin? Meron, nakuha natin. But how about yung V? So, kapag parallel connected, ang same na parameter, okay, kapag ganito ang circuit mo, yung mga voltage drop. If the power, if the voltage source is 100 volts, therefore, the voltage drop across Rx is also 100 volts. And also, for R sub Y. So, pare-pare silang 
100 volts ang voltage drop. Okay, so R of X, for R of X, so V, ang V natin is 100, okay, squared over P of X. Ano yung P natin? 760. Okay, so R of X is 13.60 ohms. Okay, for R sub Y, that is 100 squared ule over 1520. So, R sub Y is 6.58 ohms. Ayan. So, gagamitin natin ito. Ito. At saka, ayan. Dito. Okay, when connected in. So, when connected. Dito. Parallel. When series connected. P total natin is V sub S, 100 squared pa rin, over the total resistance. So, diretso na natin. That is 13.16 plus 6.58. That is in ohms. Okay, ito naman is in volts squared. So, P total is when connected in series is 506.58 watts. So, this is our answer for last problem. Problem number 9.